What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh from the Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and today I would like to discuss the differences between hybridization and phenotypic selection for isolates. Um, both of them, in my opinion, are considered to be breeding mushrooms, but I've had a few conversations about the playlist that I made on YouTube um, breeding mushrooms from spores and there's definitely some um, questions and topics that have led um, for me to create this video on the differences between hybridization and phenotypic selection which I consider to be breeding. So hybridization is when two similar species or even two different species combine to form a completely new species of mushrooms. So this can be done in a few different ways in vitro. Um, it doesn't happen in nature. Um, mushrooms will slowly adapt to their environment over time through genetic selection. So that is the oldest test of time way to breed mushrooms and which is why it could be more effective to cultivate mushrooms that are native to your region or even native to your growing environment. Um, I know lots of mushroom farms in the Denver area and every mushroom farm has its own microclimate. So breeding mushrooms that are ideal for that climate is beneficial for the long run. So hybridization though is taking two different mushrooms and combining them so that requires a laboratory. Um, there's a couple different techniques you can use. One of them is using snake venom to hybridize the mycelium. So you would have two separate isolates and then you would introduce the snake venom and it would take different sections of the chromosomes from that mycelium and combine them. And it's kind of like a rugged way to do it Another more precise way is to use CRISPR-Cas9. So that is kind of the hybridization explained. So our process and most of the mushroom farmers processes are involving phenotypical isolation of genetic variants from spores. So that is the other way to breed mushrooms, which in that case, you're taking the spore haploids and isolating those and combining them with each other to create a new genetic variant. So that new genetic variant is going to express different characteristics. These are called phenotypes. So moving forward, you can understand the differences between new phenotypes and a new hybrid mushroom. So there's a lot of debate whether the black pearl kings are just an isolate of Pleuratus or if they're actually a hybrid. Um, so I sent a, a sample of mycelium to um, Mile High Mycology. They have the equipment to isolate the DNA and um, they sent the DNA isolate to a lab to be identified and the black pearl king actually had characteristics of a blue oyster mushroom and um, a Pleuratus oringi. So I don't know if that was just an error on the part of their laboratory but from my understanding the black pearl is actually a hybrid and then you know different variations of a blue oyster for example, we have our commercial blue oyster and our generic blue oyster that you know I received as a gift from the person who taught me how to grow mushrooms. So those are two different phenotypes and one of them we use in the winter and then one of them we're gonna start to use in the summer because it thrives in a warmer, warmer temperature. So those are different strains to me as well. One of the, the key factors to growing um, high quality mushrooms is to get really potent genetics or really rigorous phenotypes. 
So you can have 10 different lion's mane, but different genetics of every like lion's mane being grown. So let's say you have 10 bags of lion's mane mushrooms and each one comes from a different parent. Those are gonna give you different results in the same growing environment. So a lot of new growers, they'll go out and get really old strains which have degraded over time. So senescence is another way which strains will lose their rigor. So if you constantly are cloning the mushrooms um, every you know, cycle, every grow cycle, and you're not keeping a slant, then you're gonna get mutations along the way. And those mutations are gonna compound faster and faster, and then you're gonna get weaker genetics that will be more susceptible to bacterial contamination, they're gonna be really sensitive to the substrates that you're using, so they won't be able to grow on a wide range of substrates, and they're just gonna have you know, abnormal characteristics. So some people, you know, they'll prefer these weird characteristics, but for us, we're trying to produce high quality, consistent mushrooms, so we rely on constant breeding, new species that are stronger, or holding on to that first generation of the mushrooms that we selected in the first place. So I hope that explains the differences between hybridization and phenotype variation. Um, we look forward to breeding some more mushrooms. Um, we just put a bunch of new strains on our Etsy. We've got some, um, some white shimiji that we're we're dialing in at the last second here. We'll probably be putting those up on the website soon. And then I'm gonna be working on some mycorrhizal mushrooms over the winter and into the spring. Um, there's some really promising studies on that, so I'm excited to dive into those topics. And one of my goals next spring is to create a system where you can grow mushrooms along with your vegetables in the garden so there's people that have been practicing this for a long time, it's called permaculture, but I feel like you know I can do a pretty good job at explaining that and adding my own you know, take on permaculture at a super small scale in an urban setting. So, all right guys, um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy our videos. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more videos like these. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions. Feel free to email me or comment below. I'm pretty active on answering questions. And make sure you check out our Etsy, Fresh Fungi. Um, we've got really top-notch genetics, and we're constantly working on creating the best strains possible. And we use quality control to make sure that there's no contamination. Um, that's one of my passions is to provide the best mycelium to all of you guys who are watching these videos and to you know the other my myco community it's growing quickly and um, I really enjoy you know producing this content so please subscribe and give us a thumbs up all right guys until next time much love